Soldier visibility is a big issue in Battlefield 5, and it's something that both the core community and DICE has been discussing since the game launched back in November. Now, a couple of months back, DICE introduced their first step towards fixing the visibility of soldiers in darker and more obscure areas of the maps in the game, seemingly where players just blended into the background so much that other players simply couldn't see them. In a blog post that was released last night, however, DICE detailed their next set of changes, and they showed off some examples which we're going to analyse and discuss in this video. The post that DICE released was prefaced with a statement about why these new further changes are being made. Apparently, these are born directly from community feedback, and because the community was very vocal in asking for the visibility situation to be improved even further. Now, different scenarios have different levels of severity when it comes to visibility in this game. I think that transitions from indoor to outdoor environments, they're not so bad in Battlefield 5. In Battlefield 1, they were really, really bad. But it's trying to locate players in dimly lit areas. That's what really kicks me with the visibility. It's probably one of the worst offenders in Battlefield 5. And then you have maps like Fiel 652 and Devastation. Those are the worst affected, I think. On Fiel, that's suffers a lot from players just blending into those grey mountain rocks that set up the pathing for the map, and because lots of players are standing next to those rocks all the time, it's quite a big problem. And then of course there's Devastation, where all the bipod MMG players like to hang out. Plenty of dark corners that they can put themselves in. Now DICE has also said that they're open to further feedback on these changes, and if further work is needed, it can be done in future patches for the game moving forwards. Okay then, let's look at the first example that DICE left in the post. This one is taken from inside the cathedral on the Devastation map, and as you can see from the label at the bottom, this is without the new character lighting system. Essentially, this is what is currently live in Battlefield 5. This is what the game currently looks like. The front enemy soldier, that can be easily distinguished from the background, but the second soldier, who's standing very close to the outside wall, that one is is harder to spot. Now for sure this is a still image and it's not moving gameplay so you can still easily spot the second player but if you add movement you add sound and the general need to be aware of what's going on around you it'd be very easy to miss that second player during live gameplay. And now this is the updated character lighting that's going to be going live in a patch very, very soon. And on the face of it, you do have to say, things are much clearer on those soldiers now. The window to the right hand side of the enemy players and the stained glass window right above them, the light that's coming through those is now more closely represented on the players. Part of the new lighting system is capable of making soldiers properly visible in very dark and very bright environments, and that should mean a lot more consistency in soldier visibility overall. Several of the maps in Battlefield 5 don't have anywhere near the number of issues as maps like Devastation and Fiel do, and that has led to plenty of players avoiding the worst maps for lighting because they knew they'd be killed by players that they simply couldn't see. So at least in this initial example, example, it will now be much easier to see those players who might be trying to hide themselves in a dark corner. The new system is also capable of better representing the colours of the uniforms that are being worn by different soldiers. This means that if a soldier is wearing an overly dark uniform on a map like Devastation, which is the majority of the German faction in the matches that I play, then the new system will prevent those uniforms from blending in so much to a background that players, if they're stationary, are almost completely lost by blending into. The same applies to bright environments as well, like on the Fiel map, where soldiers might be wearing light grey and white uniforms. They're going to blend in to that mountainous background. However, DICE has said that this new system isn't nullifying the use of correct camos in the biome that you're playing in. So green uniforms for maps like Twisted Steel, they're still the way to go. Yellow and brown coloured options are the best on maps like Hamada and Aerodrome as an example. What the new system does is it pulls up the visibility on the darker options overall, which according to DICE were the worst offenders. Dark camos were certainly giving players an unintended advantage in certain areas, and DICE wants to make sure that that situation no longer occurs. 
Right now, of course, we don't have any gameplay of these changes, which makes it very hard to have a proper concrete opinion on the changes that DICE are making. All we can really do is wait for the development team to release the change in an upcoming patch, and then we can play some rounds to see what the difference really is like. However, that hasn't stopped the core community from having their say already. And when you look on social media, the forums and Reddit, opinion is already split as to whether this is a good move or not for Battlefield 5. Lots of players are calling out the first image that I showed, the two soldiers that are now very well lit compared to current lighting, as a step too far for the new system. Some people think that this is too much of a swing in the opposite direction, and they're actually saying that soldiers now look like they've got an invisible spotlight hanging over the top of them, and you do have to say, in that image, they've got a valid point. It does look like that. But what you have to remember is this is a still image, so it's going to look like a massive overstep since you don't know what the lighting looked like a few frames before and a few frames after. Lighting is dynamic on the soldiers and changes with their movement and the environment that they're in, so of course the lighting scenario in that location is going to change very quickly as the soldier moves. What would have helped here, from DICE's point of view, is if they'd have given everyone a video to watch, giving us like a sample of a gunfight in that area, so we could have looked at the soldiers' movement, and we could have looked at the lighting changing on those soldiers as they engaged in the gunfight. Live gameplay examples are really important when you're trying to showcase a new system or an important change. And what we've got here is players and gamers reacting to a still image, which of course isn't representative of live gameplay. So if there's a video that we could see, Dice, if you're watching this video now, if you've got a video of the new lighting system, I'd encourage you to post it so that we can actually watch that and see it in action. Other players, however, are saying that they really like the changes and they're really happy that DICE has boosted the visibility overall. Lots of players on Reddit specifically are saying that they think this is going to have a positive impact on the gameplay, especially on the worst offending maps like Fiel and Devastation. And to be honest, I sit with this group of people. At this early stage, I'm liking the look of the changes and I think engaging, enjoyable gameplay should be the number one priority for DICE. There's nothing worse in my mind than being killed by a player that you couldn't see, and not because they had the one-up on you and they had a good position and maybe you just weren't paying attention, but because they're exploiting the poor lighting in that location to their advantage, just sitting in a corner, not moving, so they can't be spotted. That's really frustrating in this game, so anything that DICE does to try and improve that situation so that we can see those players that are trying to do that, that's a good thing in my book. But one thing that I've actually seen from a lot of players as a piece of feedback, whether they like the changes or whether they don't, would be the ability to create camo and uniform presets for the different map biomes in the game. Several of the uniforms and the camos that you can use already come with several variations that can be applied depending on the biome that you're about to start battling. But without presets for these, that could quickly be switched when waiting for the next round to start, you're forced to dive into submenu after submenu, clicking through all the options to build a suitable outfit for that map. If presets could be added to the character customization menu that allowed us to build presets for different map biomes or just build different presets in general, we'd save a huge amount of time between rounds building our soldiers for the next match and we'd likely see plenty of soldiers on the next map then playing in camos that make sense for that environment. Now of course the choice should always remain with the players so if you wanted to run around in the greenest of all green camos that you could make on the Fjell map, or perhaps you decided to play as the new elite soldier Ernst on Arras, where you stick out like a sore thumb in your white and blue jacket, then of course you should still be able to do that, but having presets within the character menus would be an awesome step forwards now that we're seeing some lighting fixes make their way into the game. And this doesn't seem to be a suggestion that's gone unnoticed, and it's not something that developers weren't aware of already, that having presets for different map biomes would be a good thing. I saw a response from Braddock in the Reddit thread saying that the development team are exploring different ways that this could become possible, but it's not something that's imminent. It's not something that's coming right now. The visibility update, that's coming very, very soon, but those presets would be a really good addition, I think. So, there you go. That's the upcoming visibility update 
for Battlefield 5. I personally think it looks like a good step in the right direction, but of course you might have a different opinion, so I'd encourage you to leave that down below in the comments section. I've also linked the forum post down below if you want to leave your thoughts in a place where DICE and EA can directly take that feedback and give it to the development team. But a big thank you for watching today, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.